pressing down the brain, but just taking the coilovers out, sell those and upgrade the ones on the S13. Slowly piecing the kit together. Got the fenders on, rear bumpers on. And just need to put the side skirts on. Need to saw that the door properly though so it doesn't hit the side skirts. And be away laughing. So Adam's taking the subframe out, put solid bushes in, and he's getting all new adjustable arms. He's got the camber arms there, the rest are on their way. Now I've got three cars here in the headquarters. Yeah, well, hey guys. Nice. Well, it shouldn't take too long. Gonna take the just the arm off first because this bolt here you can't get it out because it's in and out. So we're flinging that out. Good hammer. And good idea to keep all the bolts and that's all ever. Washer's got stuck. Should be in that little groove there, but it's not, so. Might as well put them in the scrap bin. Yeah. Shit welding, alright. Don't need those anymore. Yeah, well, that's no good, hey. Don't want to be drinking that, you want to be drinking this. Gonna do everything loosely up for now. Kit's pretty much on, bonnet's on. Just test filling the wheel there. It's looking pretty mad. Once it's tucked in a bit more. Damn. It's just putting the caster arms in the front here. Josh is doing it since Adam's gone out drinking. What a great friend. Just that, so that lines up. You bolt through. Done. Bob's your uncle. Done. Put the subframe back in, just gotta wait for the coil overs to turn up, but that's easy enough to do while it's in anyway. We're all in. Mm -hmm. Got the collars in between there. Four bolts for the whole subframe, and that's done. So, just doing a few bits and pieces on Adam's uh, S13 here, um, putting the 
all the all the door seals and trim and whatnot all back on. We'll put the mirrors on after this, and we he took it all it off. He took all of this off, so we just sort of guessing where stuff goes. I've and it's just enough. And it's just got a few clips on the inside there that just hook into some holes, and it's all fairly self-explanatory. Just the way things came off, the way they go back on, but we're having a guess a little bit. <laughs> Just got this door, door handle back on. Still got to hook up the um, lock and stuff like that, but definitely making a bit of progress. Nice. So guys, we just got some uh, marine grade sealant. We went to we went to try and try and use some of it, and the whole thing's fairly solid. So <laughs> you know what else you this, this could be used for, guys? S13 is going back together slowly. This lip is way too large. You need to cut it. Adam's just putting his intercooler on his S13 and he made up this custom fan shroud. All done by himself. Came out pretty nice. Spirits around here aren't too high, so see if we can get some shit done. I could barely drive into town because my baddie wouldn't make boost at all, which is cough and splutter, so it's got a serious boost leak. So I've had a bit of a quick visual inspection and I can't see any any obvious signs of where the boost leak might be coming from so I'm just going to start by taking off this cover here and then I'll start checking over all the lines to the intercooler and then to the turbo, the intake lines as well so I'll try to get this stock airbox out and just pretty much go through everything, go over everything, check all the hose clamps, check everything vacuum lines all sorts just to try and find the issue so about five minutes later we are pulling all the intake piping off and I noticed the stock blow off valve line to the turbo manifold um, the intake um, it's loose like this it shouldn't should be a tight fit that goes onto the stock airbox and I think this is for the first uh, sequential turbo so the one that spools up first and if I just pull it off, um, there was actually a split in the hose. So um, we broke the second one as well because it's just so brittle. You can see there it's just snapped when we went to pull it back on or put it back on. So we're just using the hose that we brought, cutting it up to suit, making new hoses. Just marking it. This is just radiator hosing, it's nothing special. There's our new hose, just like that. So just putting everything back together now. Got my new hose cut. Uh, other one I've cut, the 90 degree, it's already down there. Typical. Just got everything back together. Just about to start it. So hopefully that fixes my no boost problem. Cause some came in the mail today. I did. These justies. Ah! Looking pretty crispy. All gold. Got nice. Nice. Got that all tucked up in there. 
So, got it all in. Still got my interior in the back, but yeah, it's sitting there. If you can see, it's a bit dark, but. So yeah, the low loft. Rotary. So it's a Rotang. Rotang. I don't know. It's just Jared and the Evo, bro. Yeah.